The software has three main areas. The first is the navigator, along the left. The second is the main menu and toolbar at the top. And the third is the display and input area at the right. The first step in performing evaluation using the software is setting up the assumptions. When you select the assumptions node on the left on the navigator, you'll see the display input area show the assumptions. Go through every option and set it to an appropriate value. After you've done your setup, go to financial statements and input the historic balance sheet and income statements. You'll notice in the display input section, you'll see the Excel spreadsheet to input the financial statements. And remember, you can customize these financial statements to look exactly like the financial statements of your clients. You'll notice at the top there's a number of buttons, insert, move, delete, edit account. These are the operations to customize the financial statements. Once you've input the income statement balance sheet, move to the adjustments and adjust the income statement balance sheet. You can adjust either the most recent year of balance sheet or every year. For every line item, you can put in one or more adjustments. Just select the Edit Adjustments button and input the appropriate adjustments. Once you've input the adjustments for both the balance sheet and income statements, you can review the adjusted balance sheets and income statements. After that, you can select the Financial Analysis section and take a look at all the analysis. There's common size financial statements, financial statement trends, margins and return on equity, benefit streams, and an IRS and an RMA comparison. Let's just take a look at the common size historic balance sheets. Now let's take a look at the RMA comparison. Select RMA, select common size balance sheets, and comparative balance sheets. You'll notice at the top there's a button for RMA. Select it. It'll bring up the RMA database. Now we have to select the appropriate industry. So we will search on the NEICS code. We'll type in the first couple of characters of the NEICS code and select search. You'll notice that under the selection, you'll see all the industries that match. In this case, the most appropriate is family clothing stores. So we'll select it. Now, under select criteria, we can sort it by assets, sales, historical. We'll select sales. For region, we'll pick national. But notice, there's regional data as well. The sales range should be one to three million. Once we've done that and reviewed the data, we can download it directly into our project by going to the bottom and selecting download data. When we come back to the RMA comparative balance sheet schedule, we'll see all of the RMA data that we selected has been downloaded into the schedule. And also, under the RMA valuation edition P tile rank, you'll see the rankings have automatically been computed. You'll notice there's many more schedules under the RMA comparison section. Actually, there's a lot more schedules under the financial analysis section. And this is where all the smart content comes in. The program has a lot of content under each one of these categories, giving you the ability to do a lot of analysis in a hurry. The next section we want to review is appraisal. You'll notice there's a number of subsections under appraisal, premium discounts, assets and liabilities adjustments, asset approach, income approach, and market approach. Let's just take a quick look at the income approach and take a quick look at the capitalization of earnings method. The navigator walks you through the process of performing a complete valuation. So the first thing we do is always go to the assumptions section. In this case, we'd set up the earnings base, say whether it's historic or adjusted, check the checkbox if you want invested capital, select ongoing capacity, etc. In this case, our earnings base is after tax cash flow. So let's take a look at the benefit stream. The benefit stream is calculated and you put in the weights. If you want to change them, you can just input the areas in the white. If you want to make them two and one and one and one and one, you'll see the numbers change. One of the great things about the program is it automatically adjusts based on the assumptions that you've given. Notice all of the adjustments below the weightings. Ongoing earning power, less ongoing depreciation, amortization, etc. Let's go back to the assumptions page and change the earnings base from after-tax cash flow to pre-tax earnings and go back to the benefit stream. You'll notice that the schedule actually changes based on that assumption change. The program works like this everywhere. So the schedules always match your assumptions. Now let's take a look at the capitalization rate schedule. You'll notice it's a basic buildup. You'll also notice there's a number of buttons at the top. Let's take a look at what we can download. And let's download Duff and Phelps decile data. Once again, we go back to the database. For the Duff and Phelps decile data, we just need to select a year and select download data to download the data into our valuation project. 
All the decile data and the industry risk premiums are automatically downloaded into your project. Any of the numbers in blue can be overwritten in the display panel. For example, if you want to make this 18%, you can just type 18. However, you can edit all of the numbers by just going up to the Excel button and editing the whole schedule in Excel, which is just like editing any workbook or schedule in Excel. You can change whatever you'd like to change. Now let's take a look at the indicated value. The indicated value calculates the selected equity value based on the benefit stream and the capitalization rate. Once again, you can change the blue numbers and any of the black numbers you can change by going into Edit in Excel. Now let's take a look at the rate sensitivity schedule. The rate sensitivity schedule shows you how the value in the middle would vary based on changes in sustainable growth and the debt-free discount rate. This gives you an idea how sensitive the value is to those two variables. There's many more methods under the income approach, including multi-stage growth, summary DCF, detailed DCF, capitalization of excess earnings. And there's also a whole section on market approach, which in this example, we're not gonna go through. The next thing we wanna do is go to the conclusion of the value schedule and take a look at all our values. And notice our capitalization of earnings method that we just calculated shows up. On the right hand side is a weighting. You can weight these and use whichever methods you want. But notice all of the methods are calculated in one place. If you want to include custom methods, that's really easy too. The next section is sanity checks. This gives you a quick sense whether the value you came up with makes sense in the real world. The next section is custom worksheets. You can bring in as many custom worksheets as you want from the outside or create them right into the program. The last section is data. This shows where all the data is integrated into your valuation project. The data input analysis and data integration is only half the battle in business valuation. The other half is the written report, and we help you with that too. There's a report writer module that automates the process of creating a draft report. It takes all the data from your valuation, all the assumptions that you made, and integrates it into a standards-based comprehensive written report. The report that gets generated is comprehensive. This one is 191 pages. If we scroll down through the report, you'll notice that data from your valuation is integrated throughout. And there's a comprehensive table of contents which shows every area the report covers. Now there's certain areas of the report that it can't cover, for example, nature and history of the business. But all the valuation methods, the assumptions you used, and the conclusions that you came up with, it can create the frameworks. You obviously need to fill in the blanks and put in your assumptions and justifications for all the decisions you made. This doesn't replace expertise, it just automates the process. So that's the process to complete evaluation in value source software. We've used the program as it comes out of the box, but it's designed to be completely customized by you, both the analysis in Excel and the written reports in Word. You can customize the analysis for a specific engagement or customize the underlying Excel and Word files so that every time you create a new project, it has your format, style, analysis, etc. This was a very brief overview of the software. To see more, download a sample report, call us for more information, or request a free test drive and see for yourself how ValueSource valuation software can help you prepare better valuations in less time.